Samsung has officially entered a completely new chapter in mobile processing, and this time, it genuinely feels different. With the arrival of the Exynos 2600, Samsung isn't just launching another chipset, it's making a statement. This isn't being treated as a small step forward or a routine upgrade. Instead, it's being positioned as a full reset for Exynos, a moment that could finally change how people view Samsung's in-house silicon. Samsung itself is calling this a moment to express the exceptional, and the Exynos 2600 is clearly designed to live up to that promise. According to trusted leaker Anthony, this is Samsung's first smartphone processor built using a 2 nanometer gate all-around process. That alone puts it at the very edge of next-generation chip technology. But Samsung didn't stop there. The Exynos 2600 introduces an entirely new CPU setup built around Cortex-C1 cores, marking a major shift in how Samsung approaches performance and efficiency. On the graphics side, the chip is powered by the brand new Eclipse 960 GPU, and expectations are high. This GPU is said to deliver a noticeable leap in gaming performance and visual quality compared to previous Exynos generations. And perhaps most importantly, Samsung appears to have directly tackled one of Exynos's biggest historical problems, heat. For the first time, Samsung is introducing a heat path block, a redesigned thermal system meant to control temperatures more effectively and reduce throttling under heavy load. Thanks to this new approach, the Exynos 2600 is reportedly able to run up to 16% cooler, which could make a huge difference during long gaming sessions, extended video recording, or intense multitasking. AI performance is another major focus this year. The chipset includes a powerful 32K Mac NPU, delivering up to 113% faster AI processing compared to the Exynos 2500. That boost directly impacts everything from photography and real-time translation to on-device AI features. Support for LPDDR5X memory, UFS 4.1 storage, and camera sensors up to a massive 320 megapixels makes it very clear that Samsung built this chip specifically with future Galaxy flagships in mind. Overall performance numbers look equally impressive. Samsung is reportedly delivering around a 39% jump in CPU power and a 50% improvement in GPU performance. If these gains translate well into real-world usage, the Exynos 2600 could finally mark a true comeback moment, especially for selected Galaxy S26 models. Under the hood, these CPU cores are based on ARM's new Lynx platform, which isn't just focused on raw speed but also heavily optimized for AI-driven tasks. On the graphics side, Samsung seems to be going all in. The Exynos 2600 is said to feature an AMD-powered Eclipse 960 GPU, codenamed Juno, built on RDNA architecture and clocked at 985 MHz. It supports modern graphics standards including OpenGL ES 3.2, OpenCL 3.0, and Vulkan 1.3, making it fully prepared for next-gen mobile gaming and demanding GPU workloads. Earlier leaks even suggested that this GPU could challenge, or in some cases outperform, Qualcomm's latest Adreno 840, although real-world results will ultimately tell the full story. Anthony also shared new Geekbench scores that push the hype even further. The Exynos 2600 reportedly scores around 3,455 in single-core and an impressive 11,621 in multi-core performance, instantly placing it in true flagship territory. But what really stands out is efficiency. Despite these high numbers, the chip is said to run nearly 30% cooler than the Exynos 2500, a massive breakthrough for a lineup that has long been criticized for thermal issues. And just when things couldn't get more exciting, leaks around the Galaxy S26 Ultra itself are adding even more fuel to the fire. Samsung may have just unlocked one of its most visually striking flagships yet, and it comes down to color. Once again shared by Anthony, we now have our clearest look at the expected color lineup for Samsung's 2026 flagship. The Galaxy S26 Ultra is rumored to launch in four premium finishes, white, silver, black, and purple. Compared to last year, this feels far more refined and intentional. At first glance, the design instantly feels different. The white and silver variants deliver that clean, 
ultra-minimal aesthetic Samsung is known for. The black option brings a stealthy, serious flagship vibe. And then there's the purple, the color that's already stealing all the attention. Anthony previously shared a closer preview of this purple finish, revealing a deep matte violet tone that looks incredibly premium. It complements the S26 Ultra's design perfectly. The camera rings stand out beautifully, the back panel looks more uniform and modern, and the entire device feels like a true luxury flagship built to turn heads. Of course, these are still early representations and not official confirmations from Samsung. But when a reliable source like Anthony shares a lineup like this, it usually points to real internal testing. Samsung appears to be aiming for a more curated and iconic color strategy for 2026, fewer options, but a much stronger visual identity. And if purple truly becomes the hero color of the Galaxy S26 Ultra, this could easily end up being the most photogenic Samsung flagship we've seen in years.